Visual Studio Code is a powerful code editor that has a rich ecosystem of extensions. In this video, I will show you five extensions you need to know about. My name is Pat. If you are new here, subscribe because it motivates me to make more videos. Let's get into it. The first extension is IntelliCode. It's like IntelliSense, but assisted by artificial intelligence. When you trigger IntelliSense with the dot character, instead of showing you the symbols available for code completion, it will show you the symbols you are most likely to use at the top of the list. These recommendations are based on hundreds of open source projects on GitHub. This extension supports Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, SQL, and Java. Sometimes it's hard to see the boundaries in a code block. You can miss a brace or a bracket. Bracket pair colorizer helps you find matching braces or brackets. When installing, make sure you select bracket pair colorizer 2, which is the most recent version. The keywords to do, fix me, bug, hack are sometimes used in code comments to create tasks. The to do keyword, for example, indicates a feature to develop. The problem with these keywords is that they are easy to forget. The extension to do highlight allows to highlight them. By default, it manages the to do and fix me keywords, but it's possible to modify the settings to put your own keywords. The command list highlighted annotations allows to list all the tasks. When you need to test a call to a REST API, you use a tool like Postman. While this works well, it forces you to leave your development environment. The REST client extension is a tool that allows you to make requests in Visual Studio Code. At the root of your project, you create a file with the HTTP extension. In this example, I make a GET request to the CoinDesk API to get the Bitcoin price index in real time. I can right click anywhere on the file. From the menu, I select send request and the result of the request will appear in a new window. The extension has a rich set of features. It's worth a try. Visual Studio Code already supports Git, but the Git Lens extension add more to the experience. Let's check some of the features it brings. You can see at the top of a file, the last person who modified the file and when it happens. This information is also visible at the end of each line. And if you hover the annotation, you get more information. The status bar also contains information about the most recent commit. Git lens add many sidebar views to provide additional functionality. It's impossible to show all the features. This extension is essential. That's it for this short tutorial. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.